Well, hello, this is our last one, Matt. This is our last one on this series on the rules and kind of the unique applications it has to spiritual life as well. You know, when we're talking about the rules, there's always that challenging place. Okay, here's the rule, but how does this thing get applied? I mean, it can be interpreted in so many different ways. It's very, it's very confusing, very hard to understand. Therefore, most many people don't realize there's the small little rules of golf that you can put right in your, right in your bag and carry it with you. But then there's the decisions on the rules of golf, and that gets uh, that kind of the interpretive views, and have somebody that really understands all the ins and outs, and then helps you apply the rules, and that's called the decisions. Give me a few instances, uh, for instance, on tour where the decisions help us understand the application of a particular rule. Well, the decisions book is like a mini encyclopedia, as you well know. Very much. Yeah. There's very few people that understand all the complexities that go into the decisions books because what's happened over the course of years is you have a simple rule that's meant to be clear cut and defined. Right. And somehow it became muddied waters with a person was standing one foot in a bunker, one foot in a hazard as they tried to take a drop from a dangerous situation and so they right. created this yeah, exactly. encyclopedia of rules if you will right so people could say in this exact situation how do we take relief or get a drop or take a penalty given the situation yeah absolutely now there's some, there's another thing it's just an example um, on the tour if you got a guy flashing a sign uh, talk about that a little yeah bit. so it's interesting those of you that go to tour events or even if you watch out of the corner of your eye on TV the caddies often will signal the commentators what club their player is using. So four iron, three iron, you know, it could be a nine iron, they'll put four fingers down, which would be five plus four for the nine iron. And the other caddies will often watch those hand signals to be able to help their player out. Right. But what that which sounds like advice, but yeah, that's perfectly legal. That caddy could never walk over though and fumble through the other player's bag to see what club they actually hit and then take that advice back to their player. In fact, if you even go over and take a towel and lift it up to see what club he hit, you have actually, illegal. as a function of the decisions, that becomes advice and now you're in trouble and so you get Absolutely. a penalty. So that's where it gets incredibly complicated. Well, let me tell you something, folks. This, especially for a new believer, is incredibly complex. I mean, you get stuff and you, and I mean, religions are formed out of a really a weird interpretive view of a particular path. So one of the things that the Bible says is that the sum of thy word is truth, Psalm 119, 160. And so sometimes it helps us, well, not sometimes, oftentimes it helps us to have the community of believers and especially those people who are more mature in their walk, sometimes referred to as elders, meaning older, they've been walking with the Lord for a long time, and it's important that they come and in some ways they're a decisions book on the rules. Okay, I've got the Bible and I'm reading it, but I really don't understand what it says. And so as it relates, for instance, to your local Links Fellowship, if you've got somebody there, maybe a former pastor, someone who's taught maybe Bible study fellowship through the years or all these different things, you've got some great resources. I know we do here in the desert, some incredible resources where you can go and say, I do not understand what this says can you give me a rules interpretation as an analog? Can you give me an interpretation of this? And it begins to help them in their journey. That's where links groups become vital uh, to be in some ways a decisions book for the rules. Now, there's historic Christianity, there's orthodoxy, and there's you know just what, what really is the Christian faith? And we don't deviate from those, but boy, isn't it great to have somebody help you out. And that, those on tour are the rules officials, maybe your local links fellowship leader. So uh, anyway, the rules, Matt, it's, uh, it's challenging, isn't it? Very challenging at times, for sure. I mean, I mean, you and I have been around the rules of golf forever, and yet there's just a thousand things I feel like I have no idea about, yeah. and then when they come. I've got a go-to guy myself. He's my elder at the rules of golf. Anytime I have a question, I pick up the phone and call him because he's been at it much longer than I have and gets the rules in and out much better than I ever will. Do you have a mentor? Do you have a maybe a spiritual mentor in your life that can help you navigate the waters of the narrative of scripture? If you don't, begin to ask the Holy Spirit. Uh, ask the Holy Spirit to send someone like that into your life and you'd be amazed at what might just happen. So Lord, uh, so I'm, I tell you what, I'm looking forward to the new rules in 2019. It's Absolutely. gonna simplify a lot of the things and make golf a little more easy and more fun. 
and hopefully maintain the spirit of the game as well. So I hope this has been beneficial for you. Uh, Matt, thank you so much, buddy. I love Great you. Time. You're one of love my you dear too, friends. Brother. And uh, we look forward to uh, being with you on the next series. Have a great week.